Hi guys, Kelly they, uh, here from Mystical Madness Channel. Thank you for clicking onto the video. I just did a love reading. It was kind of um, intense. There was definitely some... I didn't expect it to have take so long to get the uh, information out, but then I decided to do another one with a different deck. So I'm going to do another love reading. This is going to be for the overall collective here. Look at this. Ace of Cups. Manifest. Magician, you manifested. Somebody manifested this Ace of Cups. So this is it. I love it. Uh, for a love reading for the Ace of Cups to come out, it's a lot better than the last one. <laughs> it was awesome in the end, the last one, but it was like pulling teeth. All right, clarify the Magician and the Ace of Cups. Okay, we, this card came out. Both of those cards, let me mention, came out in the last one, too. Just in a different position. So we got uh, Virgo Energy here, uh, card of healing. Maybe there had to be some, somebody had to go into hermit mode. You could have manifested this while you were healing in, in hermit mode. Or that could just be a Virgo. Clarify the hermit, Holy Spirit. Clarify the hermit. Because when I asked uh, to clarify the Ace of Cups, the the Virgo energy came up. Oh my God, we got an Ace of Wands. All right. The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups just came out in the last love reading, but they didn't come out this quickly. So I feel like this is good news. Uh, I might not even post that other video. No. <laughs> clarify the Ace of Wands. Hold on. Clarify the... Whoa. Now the messages are coming out. Oh my God, the Ace of Pentacles. Three Aces and there's only five cards out. Ace of Pentacles. Justice. Oh my goodness, I've never had a reading like this before. <laughs> Look at it. I can end it right there. Now then, oh. All right, I turned the phone upside down. Is that going <laughs> to... Oh, my God. Sorry, this just threw me off, but it also made my day. For somebody, I, you, you got three aces, and there's only six cards out. Oh, wait, wait. Every one of these is a major arcana. Every one of these cards. I don't even know if I have to keep going. You know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to end it here because it, I mean, come on. Started with the Ace of Cups. I clarified that with so, that you manifested this or somebody manifested this. Then we got the Virgo energy. We got the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and Justice. And all right, I, something made me look at the bottom of the deck because I can never just leave it alone. With, but this is good. There was some kind of turbulence this is like a lifeline this is like the six of swords saying that it's moving forward oh my god six of uh cups is a past person that so you probably already know very loyal person with the dog here this did take a lot of temperance uh impatience and balance balance that this is like, get your rest. There could have been, you know, difficulty here with the justice coming out something. But none of the difficulty showing. So I'm just going to go with this. Get some rest and rejuvenation for the these three new beginning, these uh, three new aces you have. Somebody was holding on to you very tightly here. That's what I'm getting with this card. So 444, four, four. that's uh, a good luck number protection somebody could have been that's why i'm saying protecting you somebody could have been protecting you this whole time and holding on you earth sign energy we got the hangman which is pisces but this is um also a card of like perseverance healing uh halfway to a new beginning so somebody got a new perspective here Use their intuition with the Seven of Wands. That's a very highly intuitive card. Also, Divine Intervention with the Seven of Wands. 
the moon card, there could have been uh, hidden emotions or things done in, you know, uh, under the moon cycles. But I'm telling you that, clarify, okay, wow, this is moving forward now quickly. That's cancer energy, but that's, that's two, two people moving forward, uh, pulling this horse after all that you're, you're still going, moving on together. King of Wands, after a heartbreak, we got a Knight of Cups here, a Queen of Pentacles, somebody could have had a lot of options, probably this Knight of Wands. Holy Spirit, anything else? Look at the Emperor. And I'm not even, like, I'm I'm just, I feel like I'm totally being guided right now. Clarify this emperor. Oh, my God. Can't make this up. I usually go with bottom of the deck, but some, all right, we got, we got a four of wands here. All these cards, by the way, did come out in the last reading. Look at this. Generational wealth. Got an Aquarius or the star. I mean, this is beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm just, like, blown away. Um, the star card did not come out in the last reading. This could be an Aquarius, but somebody could be a star. You could have manifested all this for yourself. This is soulmate energy, a past person. You already uh, have sown your seeds, and you were kind of waiting for it to... So you could have been waiting a little bit, because, you know, it takes a little while for stuff to grow when you plant it, right? Ten of Wands is like an uphill battle <laughs> after a battle. Here's the Knight of Pentacles. And of course, the Devil Energy has to come out. But this came out first in the last love reading I did. Now it's at the bottom of the deck. So if there were addictions or, or people affecting this, it's all the way at the bottom of the deck. We got a Queen of Cups. This is happening very quickly. Get out of your head. Stop looking at the past. This is another card of healing. Nine of Wands. The battle's over. That's what this is. And now you got your... Wow. Ten of Cups. Alright, let me just tell you. I haven't used this deck in a while. And I shuffled them really well this morning. This is coming out for somebody. Ten of, ten of Cups. Public recognition, or somebody could be under lights, can actually be a star, because we got the star card, and then, but this is also, like, getting your, uh, maybe you're going to be, you guys will be public, going public, maybe, maybe this has been going on in secret, or you had to be secretive, and now it's going to be public recognition, with the nine of cups, more love, more success, look at the gold on this card, divine had to step in, Somebody had a choice in the past. Maybe they made the wrong choice in the past because that's at the bottom of the deck. And now somebody is watching you. Or this could be both of you or one of you learned a new project. Spirit says I'm speaking the truth there with the Ace of Swords. Got to keep going because the tower moment is going to be... <laughs> Tower moment's going to be this reunion here for somebody. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. Whoa. All right. When I, okay. This one landed face down, but two landed up. So we got a Queen of Swords and a new cycle. When I when I said to clarify the tower, that's this this wheel of fortune is good luck, new cycles, things turning around. That's why the wheel's turning. She's all balanced up on there. Okay, can't even make this up. I don't even think I need to get another one. Now this is a good reading. This is a okay. We got the King of Swords. So this could happen to both of you. I'm I'm getting because I uh, in the you know and this would both of you are highly intuitive. Put the pieces of the, of the puzzle together, and the tower had to come down here, and now somebody wants to give give to you equally. So this is beautiful. This is 
a beautiful love reading for a change. Just remember, you got every ace in this reading came out. Every ace in a new cycle. I'm going to end it there. I'm not even going to pull an oracle card because this is just perfect. Four aces, right? All right, guys, have a good one.